guys. Okay, it has been quite a rushed morning and it's like eight o'clock, which is kind of a late start for me. I woke up late this morning. I woke up at like seven-ish. I'm not even caffeinated yet, but I'm gonna go over to my sister's to do a quick workout. I was planning on doing a HIIT workout, but um, Mother Nature came knock, knock, knocking this morning and now I really don't feel like doing a HIIT workout. So I gotta see what she wants to do when we get over there. And also this clip is recorded on my phone, so the sound might be weird, but I'm in a rush. So I'll talk to you guys after my workout. I want you to sit a little bit further back on your hip and bring your knees in. Keep that core engaged. Someone decided to ruin our workout. Yeah, it got right in the way. How am I supposed to complete a workout? when he is doing this. Okay guys, I'm home from my workout. We did a quick little like mad fit, 20 or 30 minute, I forget, workout. But now I need to get some caffeine and some breakfast. I don't know why I thought working out on an empty stomach would work for me today. It never works for me ever. But yeah, and our dog kept interrupting, which was so annoying. I don't even know if I really did an introduction for this video this morning. So if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name's Caitlin. And today I'm just going to take you guys through what a normal busy weekday in my life looks like as a grad student, especially with everything going on in the world right now. I am working mostly from home today. I am completely from home. But yeah, I always love watching just like mundane day in the life vlogs that just show exactly what a normal day looks like and not like a fun like Ooh, cool weekend vlog, which I love doing those too, but sometimes it's just nice to see that other people lead completely normal, chill lives and have jobs and all of that. So yeah, I'm just gonna take you guys through that with me. So what I'm gonna do now is make some quick breakfast and coffee, and then I need to get ready for the day. Like I said, I don't leave the house today, but I do have Zoom classes, and the thing with grad school is that you kind of have to like, or at least in my major, you kind of have to like look put together, which is a big change from undergrad. I used to roll up looking some type of way in my undergrad, but the good thing with being home is that I only have to look good from the waist up, so. <laughs> I'm gonna make my favorite thing at the moment for breakfast, so I'm really excited about that, and yeah, let's get into it. Y'all already know, okay? Y'all know that I love Dave's Killer Bread, not Spawn. But, oh my god, I've never tried these Boomin' Berry Bagels because that's just like not something that I would normally buy. But I bought them and I do one side with a vegan butter and I do the other side with like peanut butter or sunflower seed butter. Right now I have sunflower seeds, so that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, oh my gosh, this is my new favorite breakfast. It's so good, I could eat it every single day, it's so good. I'm also trying a new creamer today, this Chobani Oat Pumpkin Spice Coffee Creamer. It doesn't have a crazy ton of ingredients and it only has three grams of added sugar, which is really what I look for. So I'm excited to try this. Hopefully it's good, I'll let y'all know. Ugh, this just like makes my life. Okay, so I have the half with the sun butter and the half with the vegan butter. And then I have my coffee and my little Star Wars mug. <laughs> um, that creamer is really good. It doesn't make the color as light as like some other creamers do so it kind of like freaked me out at first but it's actually really really yummy so i got mine at kroger but i'm sure you could get it at like whole foods or maybe Publix. i don't know mm. it's so good <laughs> that was so delicious i am fed i am caffeinated and now i need to get ready for the day like i said i only have to look presentable from like the waist up I don't know, because it's Zoom, I don't feel like I have to get like all the way ready, you know what I mean? And also since Mother Nature is here and she did not come to play, I kind of want my skin to be able to breathe. So what I'm going to do is just put on some like eyebrows and mascara, maybe a little lip balm situation. I'm probably not going to leave the house again today, so. Is this content that like anyone wants to see? I don't know. I like watching people's like average vlogs, like I said, but mm. Okay, this is my little school from home outfit situation. So I just have a little clip because I needed my hair out of my face today. 
just a cute little tank top, some necklaces, and then on the bottom, like I said, we just got sweatpants and my slippers. Really quickly, I just wanted to show you guys these two products that I'm like obsessed with at the moment. This Tula Skincare Rose Glow and Get It, and it's a cooling and brightening under eye balm. It's one of the only things that makes me look more awake. I don't have the worst dark circles, so I'm not sure how it would do on someone with like super dark circles, but I don't know. I really love this at the moment. And then this Nest Wild Poppy perfume. My boyfriend's mom gave me this a while back and I've just been like really about it lately. I don't know. I love it. So really quickly before I go start my school day, I thought I would just talk to you guys a little bit about kind of my experience right now with grad school. So I graduated with my bachelor's degree in apparel merchandising in fall of 2019. So last December. And after searching for jobs and only having one offer from a company that I just didn't feel was a good fit, I decided to stay at the university that I got my undergraduate degree from and go to grad school. Basically, the job offer that I had, it was in a place that I wasn't sure if I wanted to live. It was a company that I just didn't really align with and the job itself was not really a position that I wanted. It was a buying position for a apparel company and I do want to work in apparel but I don't want to be a buyer. I'm much more the creative type than the analytical types so that is kind of the main factor that made me not want to do that job. Even aside from that it just didn't feel like the timing was right in my life and I really believe in like following your gut feelings about things and at the time I just didn't think that that was the right decision for me and now I'm so so glad I didn't do it. So yeah now I am getting my master's degree in consumer and design sciences which is kind of an extension of my first degree. Started it in January and I've been able to pick these classes that really really have to do with my specific interests which has been so awesome and it's so much more engaging. I feel like I've really learned a lot more than I did in my undergraduate. That being said, I was only in my program for like three months before everything went haywire in the United States of America. So for the rest of the spring semester, everything went online. My summer semester was online. And then this fall semester, my university did open back up, but some classes are online, some are in person. And then there's some classes where you can choose to be online or in person. That being said, I have four classes this semester. Two of them are online and then two of them I had the choice to take online or in person, but I am choosing to take them online because I just don't feel comfortable putting myself, my little sister, my boyfriend, anyone in my life at risk for COVID-19. The main part of what helps me to pay for the degree is that I am a graduate teaching assistant and I'm an assistant to the college's like academic affairs office. So with that, I do have to go into the school twice a week, but I don't really interact with any students or really anyone else for that matter. Like it's very minimal. Honestly, I took some online classes in my undergrad. So to me, this is just like not that different. I really like it. I love that I don't have to leave my house. Like a little over a year ago, my boyfriend and I decided to move in together and we moved in a little bit a ways out from the campus just because I don't know, we don't want to be like downtown with all the bars and the like 19 year olds and all of that. Like, we're just not about it. We used to be fun back in our day. We were fun. But yeah, where we live is a little bit more historic and has like more, I don't know, like adulty thing, like wine bars and distilleries and like nicer restaurants, stuff like that. We just like it more over here. But yeah, point being, I love that I don't have to leave my house and drive through the traffic to campus. I just, I don't know. Okay, I know that was a little bit of a long-winded tangent there, but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a background on like what I'm even doing in the first place so that you can kind of understand why my day looks like it does right now. Okay, it is 10 o'clock on the dot now, so I really need to go start my work and school day. Technically, I have the day off of work, but I also kind of make my own hours. So I'll probably still get some work done today. So I don't have class for a little bit, but as you can see, I'm just kind of checking my assignments and stuff. I have a couple things I need to grade. I have an assignment that I need to do this morning and then some stuff for tomorrow. And then side note, how pretty are these flowers? I know they're kind of dying, but my boyfriend's mom had them sent here on my birthday, which was last week. How freaking sweet is that? I love them and I love this vase too. It's like kind of blush pink. I can't wait to keep that and like, I don't know, find a cute home for it once we move, which will be like a little less than a year now, hopefully. Side note, I don't even know if I've mentioned that on my channel before or not, but when I graduate from my master's program, we are planning on moving probably to Atlanta. Um, 
open to whatever, but uh, my family's in Georgia. Some of Chase's family is thinking about moving to Georgia. So we would really love to be in Atlanta. And Atlanta is such an underrated city in my opinion. It's literally so cool. So that is probably where we'll end up, but who knows? Gotta wait and see where we can find jobs. Let's start this work day. Okay, this assignment that I've been working on, uh-uh, oh my gosh. I thought it was gonna be a really e easy assignment and now I only have like 45 minutes left till it's due. I'm almost done, but oh my gosh, I've never been so frustrated with an assignment in my life. Anyway, like I said, I have 45 minutes left. I need a little snack and then I can get back at it. Just gonna have a little Laura bar. You guys know this flavor is my favorite and I just need something that I can sit in front of the computer with. Okay, good grief. That assignment stressed me out, but it's done now. I had my little snack and I actually have like 30-ish minutes before my class starts. So I came in my bedroom and I think I'm just gonna put a quick meditation from either Peloton or someone else on YouTube, but I think Peloton up on my TV and do that real quick, like a 10 minute or five minute or something like that, just to kind of like unwind and prepare myself because I am about to have a couple of classes and I just need to be in a better mood and mindset than I am at the exact right now moment. I might make myself a little matcha latte before class starts just so I can have something warm to sip on during class. Oh my gosh, also you guys, I forgot to show you this. So y'all know we love our little backyard garden, but now we have two really beautiful sunflowers. Oh, I love them. Chase is such a good gardener. It's so impressive to me. I do not have a green thumb. Okay, this might look a little blurry from here, but I'm doing this positive energy 10 minute guided meditation from Great Meditation on YouTube. My Peloton app was not cooperating, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'll let you know how it is when I'm done. Oh, okay, that is done. So the verdict on that was that it was good, not great. Um, I lasted like eight minutes of it, which sometimes I can't meditate a full 10 minutes. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can medit meditate for like 20 minutes. Yeah, I got through like eight minutes. The speaker, she had a really cute like Irish accent maybe. But yeah, I just like my Peloton ones more. If you use Peloton for the bike or the app or anything, Anna Greenberg's meditations are so good. My class is about to start. I said I was gonna make a matcha, but now I'm kind of thinking maybe I want a chai. I don't know. Maybe just like a hot tea. I don't know. Just something to soothe my stomach. This time of the month always really makes my stomach go haywire. So yeah, I just want something like warm and cozy. The color's kind of weird, but I got my cup, got my water boiling, and then this is the tea I'm having. It's from G'day Herbal Teas, and it is appleberry. That just sounded so good right now, so that's what I'm gonna have. So this is clearly not my normal class setup, but this is just what I wanted to do today. Have my little tea. Normally I sit at the table, but my back hurts, so I just felt like sitting over here. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, class is over. It is 1.45. That class was really good today. Had some really good intellectual discussions. Now I have about 15 minutes before my office hours start. So my office hours are where any of my students in the class that I help teach can come ask questions, all of that, but they have to sign up ahead of time and no one signed up for today. So that's really awesome. That means I can get some stuff done during that time, but I do still need to have my little Zoom room open just in case. But if no one comes to my office hours, usually I'll like tidy up a little bit, hang out with the dogs. I need to eat lunch, I'm starving. I could use some snuggle time with my dogs. I haven't really hung out with them today. Okay, I've got my lunch. I'm just having some leftover soup from last night. I made this really yummy Italian wedding soup with this like vegan feta on top. And then I think, oh, hello Shrek. I think I'm just gonna watch some YouTube while I sit on my office hours, even though no one's coming to it. Also I wanted to add, this soup is delicious, but probably not gonna cut it for like a whole lunch for me. I was just being lazy and needed something quick, but I think I might make some like rice paper avocado roll things after this, maybe. Okay, got my office hours locked and loaded just in case anybody wants to uh, say hello. By like pre-shredded, you have to have a full carrot and have to shred it. Okay, ignore the dog hair. I'm gonna lint roll before my next class, but I just wanted to talk about something real quick. I have found lately that even in the context of like what's going on in the world right now, if I am unproductive on a work day, for even like an hour, like right now, literally even an hour. I have this like weird 
guilty feeling about it. And y'all will have to let me know if you can relate to that or not. I feel like working from home has kind of changed my perception of like what home is and what this space means to me. And I don't know, maybe I just have a little bit of a harder time relaxing or maybe it's just today. I don't know what it is, but literally all I have left today on my to-do list is my next class. And yet for whatever reason, I'm still sitting here thinking like, okay, should I use this hour to clean my living room? Should I use this hour to do an extra little workout? Should I use this hour to brainstorm YouTube videos? And it's like, well, all, none of those things are bad things to do, but I don't understand, like, why can't I just sit here, watch a couple YouTube videos, and, like, feel fine with that? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if that's something you can relate to. I don't know. Oh, it's so frustrating. I still have, like, an hour and eight minutes for my next class, so I am going to sit here for like at least half an hour or something and just try to let go of the guilty feeling of being unproductive which is so stupid it's so stupid and then i will probably get up and do something that i should do like my dishes are clean and they're drying and i know i should unload them but i'm like can i also just relax you know can i just relax mm -hmm. it is 3 28 and my class starts at 3 30. This is my entrepreneurship class in case I ever decide I want to start a business, <laughs> who knows. I'm so happy right now because my school day is finally over. I don't know why, but at this point in the week, I'm just like, oh, so drained. Mondays are my favorite day by far because it's like a new week and new opportunities and nothing really has happened yet. But oh man, today went by so slow. It is almost five o'clock, which means it's almost time for Chase to come home from work, which is truly just my favorite time of day. When we get to go out and water our plants together and sit down for dinner together and maybe watch a movie or something, it's just the best part of my day. He's seriously my best friend on earth, so it just makes me happy. I would say majority of days at this point, I usually have like a little bit of homework or emails or something left to do, but today I don't, so now I'm just gonna wait on my boyfriend to come hang out with me. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with all this extra time. Maybe I'll do a little journaling. I don't journal every day, but the days when I have a little extra time, I love journaling and I have a very specific favorite journal at the moment, but you guys will hear about that in a video in a few weeks. My like summer fall Amazon favorites, you'll hear about it in that. Or like sunrise time when it's nice and quiet and it's just me and I can like spend a little moment with myself and then sunset time when I'm with Chase and our dogs and delicious food and the beautiful sky. It just makes everything better, you know? Like I could have the worst day, but as long as I have that at the beginning and the end of the day, like I'm solid, so it makes me happy. But as for the present moment, I think I'm just gonna sit here and like scroll on TikTok for a sec. I'm planning a video that involves TikTok so I need to do a little bit of planning for that. So I'm gonna do that. Yay, you're home. Are you close to <laughs> yes. <laughs> I got talked into takeout once again, so we are getting tacos. I'm so excited. So Chase is turning this upstairs storage closet into like his man cave. And clearly he's a Kansas City sports fan. Just a little bit. Isn't that right? Oh yeah. It's officially messy bun hours. <laughs> okay, I know I haven't really picked up the camera in a while, but it's because nothing's really happened. We just hung out with our dogs. We ate our tacos, which were really good, but I'm kind of regretting because my stomach is not feeling amazing from that. I don't know what it is, y'all. Like, it really does everything unless I cook it at home hurts my stomach at this point. It's ridiculous. We also watched like two hours worth of old Cody Co videos. I don't know what dragged us down that rabbit hole, but that's what we did. And now it's like 9.15. I'm gonna shower and do my nighttime routine and we'll probably be asleep by like 10, 10, 15. So like I mentioned this morning, I know this was just like an average, super mundane kind of day. But I really like watching those videos and I always like feeling like the people that I watch are relatable so I want to be that too. And yeah, this is honestly just a glimpse into what most of my days look like, my weekdays anyway. My weekends I have a little bit more fun. Today honestly wasn't that busy of a day but I think my fellow grad students can agree that some days it feels like you have a never-ending to-do list and then some days it feels like 
we just basically have class and that's pretty much it. And I also just wanted to mention real quick, because I don't think I talked about it on my channel, I took another little break from YouTube for a second because I just have been feeling kind of uninspired for like a month, honestly. I needed a second to really brainstorm. I made a massive list of YouTube video ideas and now I'm just feeling so so excited and inspired and ready to get moving on all of those things. So lots of good stuff coming. Please subscribe if you're not already and thank you again for watching. See you guys in my next one.